It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. It's just a game. Oh, okay. You don't know what that is. It's okay. Come on. Hi, I'm Kristen. And I'm Po. Welcome to our home. <laughs> Today we have off, so we're gonna take you guys along the ride to come hang out with us as we go around San Diego to some of our favorite places and enjoy our off day. Yeah, it's beautiful weather, so we'll go to probably a bakery, get some coffee, and then take a little better man to the beach. So <laughs> I'm happy you guys will be with us. For me, recovery, like just doing things that fulfill me, whether that's like I really need a nap or that's like I really need to get out of the house, just whatever I feel like I need at the time. And honestly, therapy is huge for me because I noticed how much my mental health journey, just like having a space to like process things that I'm feeling, thinking, allows me to not hold that within myself, which causes me when I don't do that, it causes me a lot of stress, which makes it really hard to recover. We just kind of found that that works out for us and then, yeah, really trying to, I guess, separate soccer from life and like use our every day to really like replenish and rejuvenate us at the same time. And That's hanging out with Benny, for sure. <laughs> he's like the cutest thing ever. How can you not be happy when you're around him? So he, he's a huge help, honestly, getting up, being able to walk and getting us out of the house too, so yes. Oh, that's so cool. How we met. So in 2020 was it gonna be my second year for the Thorns and we got a lot of new players. Then COVID hit. So I just tried to reach out to a lot of the new players and her and Morgan Weaver were living together and so they kind of had each other but I did want to use that time to like bond with teammates like outside of the soccer environment. Um, and so I ended up hanging out with them quite a bit. We just really bonded, I think, over like sharing our experiences with each other in that like time period and we just learned a lot about each other. And like I was still in a, in a space in my life where I wasn't fully, probably fully accepting of myself as well. So I was like also kind of had the brakes on because I was like, whoa, what's going on? Is this like, what are these feelings I'm feeling, you know? And so, and then I think, you know, um, and we just like, yeah. just because we had built such a good friendship, I just like, we both prioritized that. So I think yeah. it was just not something we were going to be like careless about. So yeah, yeah, we just like built a really good friendship mm -hmm. and then, yeah, it just kind of snowballed into yeah. something else and yeah. we're like still each other's best friends. And I think yeah. that's, well, I think that's what's the best cool part. Here we go. <laughs> when people see me driving, it's like I think they think they're like hallucinating or something because they're like, especially Nay when she sees me driving, she's like, "You're driving?" She's like, "Oh my god!" Yeah. Sunny San Diego, but don't look at the beach too closely. <laughs> but this is VG's. I'm a big donut person love donuts. think it's a red flag if you don't like donuts. Um, and this is my favorite place that I found so far. Let's do it. Let's get some donuts. Yeah, here for that. I'll get a, okay. I'll get a blueberry. And then, do you want a cake donut? Thanks. She's the breadwinner. <laughs> Sugar mama. <laughs> Sugar mama, I wish. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're, we're both putting our brains and money yeah. together. Wow. Yeah, this would be a new one for us. So I'm not even going to hesitate. <laughs> Are you going to have some of this? Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, I'm definitely going to have some of that. I love a blueberry donut. It's so good. That looks unreal. Let's go see if you're going to get yourself a bike today. Let's go see if this pink bike has my name on it. <laughs> Honestly, I think for me, it's just like the way Poe chooses to like live her life. She's so herself that I think sometimes I really overthink myself or like worried about how people perceive me. So I think she really just like allows me to feel comfortable in who I am, like wholly myself. So I think She's just like inspires me in that way. And I think that's, yeah, my favorite thing about her, just how she shows up in life and handles life. Am I being silly? 
No, I don't think you're being silly. All right. So you're approving of this purchase? It's ironic because I think my favorite <laughs> thing about Kristen is the fact that she like helps people feel that way. Like when I met Kristen, I was like, wow, I feel so safe, like being my full self. And so it's funny that like I almost kind of give that to her when I'm like, I feel like you actually provide that for me. And I feel like you provide that for other people. Obviously, I'm like, Kristen's like so empathetic and she, people are always like Kristen. feel safe coming to you and like talking to her about things just because like, I think she just has this like yeah. persona and like or about her that like you can come to me as you are and like, I will appreciate you and love you for that. And so there's a safe space for everyone no matter what. That was sweet. <laughs> nice to see what we said to each other. Now. I know, it's been a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. You too. Proud owner of a new bike. Proud owner of a new two-wheeler. All right, catch you later. At least she bought a bike that works. <laughs> Eight shoes. You just want to watch me struggle? <laughs> All right, Poe, come on. There we go. Was this a rash decision? Probably. All right. In the work life, we are colleagues. I think we like try and really yeah. very much like outside. Yeah, looking in, you would never know that we were together. And I think yeah, that's um, another so, thing we yeah. prioritize. Yeah, I think there's there's probably obviously moments people are like, oh, they're close. But maybe if you're new to the team and you didn't know us, you'd probably just think like we're roommates or best friends. Yeah. And so I was like, that's how we would like to have our, I guess like work relationship be. We have hard days at work, and so. Um, you know, there's good days and there's hard days. I would say that I think we're both each other's like biggest fans. We're gonna back each other. Yeah, we're just giving space to like yeah. feel what they're feeling. So I think that's cool too. Cause yeah. Yeah, we and have both. Like we're yeah. able to help each other, or we're just able to just like be there and sit yeah. with each other in it. So yeah. we know the goals that we have as individuals as well. So like, how do we support each other in that? I'm walking on sunshine. I'm walking on the sunshine. Here, you wanna hold that? Just for a sec. Come here, you bubbies. Alright, go be free. Yeah, good job, bud! <laughs> He's like on your buddy, come on! Come on! <laughs> you have anything? You have anything to say for yourself? I freaking love when you take me to the beach, moms! Thank you so freaking much. <laughs> Taylor Korniak laughed so hard when she said, This is the best freaking day of my life. I just always think about, like, truly my younger self and just knowing the impact it would have had to be able to look up to someone seeing them in a queer relationship, in, in sport, being successful, and just having that representation. So I think. It's so it's fulfilling for me to be able to be able to be my whole self and know that maybe that's going to encourage someone to do the same. And I think that is just something that, yeah, mm -hmm. is just so fulfilling for me. It makes me emotional, but it's like it's awesome because my journey was hard to like get there within myself. So I'm just like I know if I can help someone's journey just be a little bit easier is massive. So yeah, it's really cool that um, I feel like I can have that impact and our relationship can have that impact, so. I wonder if I, when I was younger, if I had that kind of exposure and it wasn't labeled as like weird or gross, if I would have discovered myself a little bit sooner and that wouldn't have been so scary for me and that wouldn't have been such like a, a big deal. And so um, it just continues like to push us to strive to be those kind of people and be that example for the people as well. Well, he has breakfast that he hasn't eaten. He's being a sleepy boy. We are back in the lovely house. We are. We grocery shopped. 
Um, we're making carnitas tonight because takes a little bit of menu. yeah, it's on the menu. It takes a little bit of time to cook in um, the Dutch oven, but Worth we it. have we have time on days like today. Okay. That is a big sub. That looks good. Yeah, you think? I'm trying to get to like the bottom, but it's not. I think it looks good. Close her up. Takes three hours to cook, which is brutal, but. Do not touch. Good things are worth waiting for. Slow and right? slow, baby. Perfect low time to use slow. it. <laughs> low and slow. Thanks for hanging out with us today. We really appreciate you coming along. As was Carnitas Cook, we're just gonna kick back and watch some Love Island. So thanks for hanging. Hi, guys.